Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? What's going on? This is Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lida Loca, and this is 10 Ways You Can Overspend on a Cruise. Roll the music. All right, guys, we are back for another little tip, a little cruise tip, a little info that you can use. Jenny, do you know there's a lot of ways you can overspend on a cruise? I know that because maybe I've overspent. <laughs> yeah, these are lessons learned on the sea. We have done a few of these things, and so hopefully uh, you can uh, glean from our experience and not not get caught in some of these traps. Right. All right, Jenny, number one, the arcade. Yeah, so uh, fortunately this hasn't really happened to us. But uh, I have heard of stories of you, you, you put the youngins on your sell sign account, <laughs> sail and sign account, you put the youngins on your sail and sign account, you send them off to the arcade and they just start swiping. They just start swiping and swiping and all of a sudden you've got a $300, $400 arcade bill. Well, you know, they had to win that little duck. It's crazy. So uh, be cautious out there now. Uh, with your ship account, you can uh, limit the amount of money that is able to be spent by a day or by a person. And so if you are giving, a, you know, and everybody has to have their own sail and sign and it has to be tied to some sort of funding. So that means if you are cruising with your kids, uh, your teenagers, your toddlers, they will have a sail and sign uh, card. And so make sure that you've done what you need to do to restrict the spending or you could. You could get hit with a big arcade bill. Mm -hmm. And the sale and sign is a ship card. The ship card, yeah. Whatever ship account uh, that you have, uh, it's probably going to be your room key. Uh, everybody gets one, and that also means access to the money. So uh, watch it close. That's right. Do you know what number two is, Tony? What's number two, Janae? Additional tipping. What do you mean additional tipping? How 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 does that work? So when you go up to like say the bar or the coffee shop to get something to drink, they usually put the gratuity on top of what the drink costs. But there's a line for tip. What? Right, and that's where that comes in. Oh, really? Because guess what? Some people don't look and see that the 15% gratuity has already been added. Mm. Or you're like me and you're just like, mm, I don't want to leave an empty line. <laughs> yeah. So. That's how you can do additional tipping. Yeah, so I guess the takeaway there is most everything on the cruise ship already has a gratuity baked into it. And so uh, look at your receipt. And most of the time when you're filling out that additional tip, it's tip on top of a tip. And so uh, while we're all for being generous, uh, if you don't realize that you're double tipping and then you realize it later, it may leave you a little salty. It may leave you a little sour. So uh, as long as you know going in that you're double tipping, that's fine. But, uh, you know, if you find yourself double tipping for a lot of different drinks, that might be money you could have saved on your cruise. It could have been a way not to overspend a little cash. And uh, kind of related to that tipping is buying drinks. Now, if you haven't got the drink package and you have not decided for yourself how much money you're going to budget for drinks, it's really easy to run up that drink. That So, like, as soon as you get on the ship, they're offering you a drink. Just sign it away to your room. Put it on your sailing sign. Mm -hmm. uh, at the comedy show, hey, we got some drinks. We got some shots. Just sign it away to your sailing sign. Even at your formal dining at the MDR, they're coming by. You know what goes well with your dessert? This shot, this mixed drink. All you got to do is sign it to your selling sign card. And if you're not paying attention, you're going to get to the last day and you're going to have several hundred dollars worth of drinks. Now, uh, I'm all for drinking and having a good time. Mm -hmm. But if you don't think about it while you're doing it, it becomes <laughs> a surprise because it's so easy. You know, OK, let me just go have a cup of coffee, a specialty coffee. You know, just put it on your salon sign. Oh, you know what? That drink looks so good. Oh, we should get that festival cup that it's in. It almost seems free when you're on the Lido deck and they're walking by and they've got a whole tray full of drinks and they're like, hey, would you like a drink? All you got to do is sign your name. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it doesn't even seem like you're getting charged. Well, guess what? You are. And uh, it could add up to be a big overspend on your on your cruise account. Are you ready for number four? Yes. Cell phone roaming. Cell phone roaming. Is that a thing? It is a thing. We actually have a video on that. We'll link it down below. But yeah, make sure that cell phone is in airplane mode. Yeah, now I know that everybody out there is super positive and they don't like to hear stories of negative things. And so don't even be tempted to go Google 
huge cell phone bill on a cruise ship Don't do it. because you will see a couple stories about people that got charged thousands of dollars for cell phone roaming. So uh, let's just, we'll keep it positive here, but let me just suggest to you that if you don't know how to put your phone in airplane mode and you don't know how to navigate your phone to get on the Wi-Fi, you're at risk of getting overcharged. And so, uh, yeah, make sure that you know what you're doing with your cell phone when you get on board so you don't get overcharged because it can happen. Another way you can rack up a pretty big fee on your uh, ship account is by buying all those pictures. Oh, yes. The cruise ship does a super good job of putting professional photographers everywhere that you'd want them to. They got them on embarkation. They got them when you leave a port. They got them when you're dressed up for formal night. They got cool backdrops. You could be a pirate. Mm -hmm. You could lay on a piano. You could put a rose in your tooth. You could do almost <laughs> anything in a picture on a cruise ship. And the whole goal there for the cruise is to have you buy those pictures. And guess what? They are not cheap. And so uh, it is really hard to say no when you and your family have taken some really great pictures and all of a sudden you're spending $18, $20 a picture, you can quickly rack up hundreds of dollars of pictures. Now, uh, some of the cruise lines are starting to roll out packages to make that more affordable, mm -hmm. but uh, I would say that it's, we're still in that time in cruising history that if you're not careful, say you buy a couple pictures on day one, you buy a couple pictures on day two, you do that every day all the way to the last day of your cruise, you might have three, four hundred dollars worth of pictures, and so again, you got to pay attention to what you're doing. You got to look at your, uh, you got to look at your account uh, every once in a while during the cruise, and just make sure that you're not doing a lot of pictures. And you know, uh, well, it's just kind of like even when the kids were small, and you take them, and you know, J.C. Penney's or Olin Mills, you know, one of the, you know, big popular picture taking places. Oh, come in and take Easter pictures. Come in and take Christmas pictures. And the packages were like, you know, say nineteen ninety nine. But then you go in and they have all of these pictures printed yeah. out of your beautiful children. Guess what? I was that type of mother that did not want them to just throw away my kids' pictures. So I would buy them. Yeah. And you know what? By the time I walked out, that nineteen ninety nine was like a hundred and ninety nine ninety nine. That, so, that could happen to you on a cruise Absolutely, ship. because who wants those pictures to be gone? You, yeah. Be careful. Are you ready for the next one, Tony? Yes. Drinking the water in the room. Those things are what, like three seventy five or four seventy five? So when you get to your room, now I know some cruise lines uh, for their loyalty members they give free water. But I noticed on our last cruise there was some other water. I'm not. I wasn't yeah. supposed to drink that. They no. They almost tricked us. So when you go into your room, into your cabin, there is usually a, li a big liter of water, and there's this little thing on top of it, and it tells you the price and that kind of stuff. But after you cruise one time, well, with Carnival, after you cruise one time, then the water is complimentary. That same size. But there's a different sticker on the top of it, so... Yeah, and they have the free one and the pay one in the mm -hmm. same place in your room. So, the warning here is make sure, you know, if you go into your stateroom and you have a mini bar or you have some sort of water already in the stateroom, just make sure you know that it's already either paid for or that it's going to be an additional charge. Because if you drink that water... They're going to put another one in there for you to drink the next day. <laughs> mm -hmm. And by the time you get to the end of your cruise, you're going to have, you know, $20, $30 worth of water uh, that, you know, you you might not need, you know, you might not, you might have thought were free. And so uh, you could be surprised at the end. Right. And you know what that, do you know what that reminds me of, Jenny? What does that remind you of, Tony? It reminds me of number seven. Uh, you can pre-order water for your room. You can pre-order uh, snacks for your room. You can pre-order your excursions. Most of the time, you can pre-order your Wi-Fi, and they give you a dis spa treatment. You can pre-order that, and most of the cruise lines will give you a discount if you do that prior to cruise. So if you plan on doing any of those things and you want to save some money, you don't want to overspend by waiting until you get onto the cruise to book those things, you just got to do that in advance. So you can save some money and not overspend by pre-booking anything that you can excursions water snacks drink packages spa treatments mm -hmm. check with a cruise line see if you can do that in advance for a discount save yourself some money that's right are you ready for number eight yes losing your room beach towel so 
when you go into your ship onto your ship in your cabin there's usually a really nice plush beach towel for your use mm. but guess what what if you lose that towel take it out to your excursion take it out to the lido and it doesn't make it back to your room the majority of the ships will charge you yeah so it's different with each cruise line check with the cruise line you're, that you're cruising with and uh, it, it works in a lot of different ways most of your cabins will come with a beach towel that you can use all over the ship you can take it off for an excursion uh, but also on pool decks Lido decks there's usually a towel station there where you can give them your ship account and uh, they will uh, they will give you a towel uh, in most all of those situations if you don't return that towel or your towel is not in your stateroom you will get charged and so uh, yeah it's uh, it's very tempting to load up on beach towels but you might get hit on the last day with some sort of fee if you if you weren't thinking about it very quick uh, story on our very first um, cruise we were getting charged for a cruise towel do you yeah. remember you had taken it downstairs to the Lido and you brought it back and I remember packing our own beach towels for when we went on excursion but anyway, you decided to use the one that was in the cabin and you brought it back and you left it there for them to take because it was wet, you know, and, and, and thoughts that they were just going to return it. But then they, the steward didn't return it. Yeah. And I remember calling and then like, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. They were really <laughs> intense about this yeah. towel. Like uh, I noticed it right away. Hey, the towel I left to dry off is gone. Mm -hmm. Where's my beach towel? because uh, I'd already gotten uh, the third degree over here because I didn't use the one we brought from mm -hmm. the house because I'm like, you got a beach towel here in the room. You might as well use it. But uh, sure enough, sure enough, uh, they had taken our towel. We were going to get charged, and we were fortunately able to uh, prove to them that we had not taken the towel. We didn't have to do anything to prove, but uh, they believed us in the end, and we didn't get charged. But uh, for a moment, we were almost on the hook. Yeah. <clears throat> Jenny, you ready for number nine? Lucky number nine. Toiletries and sunscreen. Look, you forgot your toothpaste, they'll sell it to you. You forgot your deodorant, they'll sell it to you. But they're going to sell it to you for a premium. It's going to be a lot more than what you pay at the local Walmart or Target. And, and you know, sunburn, everybody gets sunburn. They're going to sell you sunscreen, but they are going to make it expensive. Mm -hmm. I, I guess it makes sense. If, uh, if everybody didn't bring uh, you know sunscreen, then they would have to stock the whole ship full of sunscreen. Right. So they make you pay a cost. So a good way not to overspend on your cruise ship is maybe overpack when it comes to your toiletries and your sunscreen. I do. You do. <laughs> All right, Jenny, I think there's one more on the list saved especially for you. You might know something about it. Why don't you tell us what number 10 is? Number 10 is the casino what so for me the casino is a little bit of an entertainment i do stick to what my um budget is i do i'm not saying anything <laughs> it's really easy to just swipe your ship card and not think like oh that's really just gonna come out of my bank isn't it it's not free in there either. Yeah, so uh, we also made a video on how uh, cruise ship gambling works. It talks a little bit about uh, the relationship between the, uh, the casino and your sell and sign account or your ship account. Uh, and so honestly, you can put in your uh, ship card, push some numbers, and all of a sudden you've got money to gamble with without even thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you do that enough times you are going to get hit with a huge charge at the end. And hopefully if you're using your debit card to back your ship account, you got enough money to cover it. You can just sit there and play slots and play slots and they make it really easy to reload the money. Uh, but you just got to remember that that's real money that you're reloading. And here's a bonus tip. Uh, you can go to the ATM on the cruise ship and get hit with some crazy fees. Only spend the cash that you brought. Uh, and, and be really careful in the casino. Uh, we've been fortunate. Jenny, Jenny doesn't really gamble that much. Uh, she just takes cash. And but uh, if if you were more compulsive or you had less impulse control, you could just sit there and load up our sell and sign account, our ship account, and uh, wow, we could we could be in the hurt locker. So be careful when you're gambling on the cruise ship. Yes, yes, yes. All right, guys. That's ten ways that you can overspend on a cruise ship. 
I'm sure that we've missed a few. Please leave a comment below. Tell us another way that you can overspend. Mm -hmm. And tell us if you've done these things. Have you got hit with a big bill that you weren't expecting uh, because you, you didn't know this information? Uh, hey, if you like this information and you found it helpful, please hit the like button. It helps us know what kind of videos to make. And make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can be notified and see all the new videos that come out. Yeah, and you should check us out on... Twitter and Instagram at Lonely Delorca. Social media, all of our links are in the description below. And we would like to invite you to the hottest, coolest, bestest, most fun, most extravagant, craziest, uh, off the chain, most fun. Loca fam. Loca fam group on Facebook. Yes, it's the La Lita Loca Cruise. I can't even say it. I'm so excited. The La Lita Loca Cruising Community. Uh, it's your one-stop shop on Facebook for cruising information. A lot of cool people over there having a mm -hmm. good time. Uh, and uh, yeah, there'll be more tips over there for how to uh, not overspend. Mm -hmm. but anyways, again, my name's Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lita Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. See you on the Lido. Bye.